Hello everybody and welcome to Delicious and Delightful Eats with Caitlin. So today I'm going to show you how to make this spooky mac and cheese and it's, or I'm going to call it Halloween mac and cheese and it's going to be for Halloween because it's almost Halloween in like two days. So yeah, and I'm going to, um, this becomes from Tastemade on Snapchat or their app, so I will put them in the description, either them, the link to them or the link to that recipe. That's why, so what you need is these cheat all of this. Now what you are about to pass the to now you're just going to boil a some water and make the pot and make any pasta you want, but I like um smile noodles with it or elbow noodles, but we only have this so this is work. So that's step one. Step two, you're going to melt butter in a big pan. And you're gonna start to make a roux. So first you're gonna melt some butter in a pan. Guys, we're not professional cookers, but I want you to know that we're not using our the recipe to exact. We're doing it a little bit different our way, but you can look at the full thing on our on Snapchat, which I'll link, or I'm sorry, Taste Me, which I'll link below. And make sure if you're under the age like me of like 18 or something, right. then you know to use parental vision. So now I'm putting the flour in. How much? The whole thing. One fourth do, of a cup. Do a little bit at a time. One fourth of a cup. You can pour the whole thing in or do it over the way. I'm going to do that. And you want to keep mixing it so it doesn't get too thick of a consistency. So just keep mixing. So you just want to keep mixing it until it's a slight consistency. Let's turn it down. It's too hot. Hand. Sorry about the black but I was putting it together. And don't forget to keep mixing it for about 10 minutes. Now, how much milk do we have? We, we we cut the recipe in half, so it's um because we're using half the box. One and three fourths. So one and three fourths cup for half a box. Some in. So you're just gonna add a little Good. bit in at a time and keep mixing. See now that your mixture is all done, you can put that in the sink. I'm oh, sorry, the mix is all done. You can put it in the sink and it's going to look like this. It's now, be a little thicker than this. now you're going to you're supposed to put um, one little clove of garlic in and mash it up. But we'll put a little bit just, of garlic powder. You can we're do going that now, to please. use garlic powder. Tell me why. Okay. That's good. I wish you guys could smell how good it tastes. So now we're putting in the Parmesan cheese. And we're just gonna put all the Parmesan cheese. Is it getting too hot for you? Nope, you're gonna put the Parmesan cheese in and keep mixing it instead. Let's use some chore cheddar, but we're just using a cheddar mix, so you're gonna add half of that to the bowl and you're gonna leave half of it for the top of the mixture. Look at how good that looks. Mm. So actually, um, I've realized that you can probably use this cheese mixture and make it for any Thing. Not just noodles, but for anything you want. So you name it, you can probably, and you can put cheese on it, you can probably put it on. If you like this mixture and you think it looks good to you. Mmm. I'm try to from the cooking, but while we are cooking the pasta, we are just going to show you how stormy it is today. So now you're going to strain the noodles as always. I'm shaking the excess water out. See, so look at it. Get a bowl for the next set of instructions, which is like clearly obvious. Now you're going to pour your lovely cheese mixture into your cheese. I'm sorry, into your noodles. So as my mom and her hands are gonna do. I'm gonna do it from this side. She's going to pour everything in. Mm, so cheesy goodness. And then I'm just going to mix it up. So now you're going to take this and mix it. And fold it in and really get it mixed. So I'm just mixing, mixing, and you'll see me in the next cut. So you're supposed to add some spinach in it. And you're supposed to add um, a little mustard paste, but you don't have to. I've added... The rest, see, you can see the cheese. I've added the rest of the Parmesan, I'm sorry, the cheddar cheese inside, and now I'm mixing it. 
And my mom decided to bake some of it. I put breadcrumbs on it, and she's going to put a little mash, um, mustard in it. This is optional. One more thing. You can add food coloring to it. Now, how is it Halloween-ish? Well, you can add food coloring to it, green food coloring. I'd mix it in. But number one, it has to be the gel paste food coloring, which, because, so it doesn't, like, taste like real food coloring. And second of all, you, that's an optional, but we didn't want to do green, but that's how it is Halloween mac and cheese. So I'm sorry if my last recipe was lame, but you guys can go watch the Taste Made one and you can see the real thing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Delightful and Delicious Eats. The P.S. is still a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper.